Hey everybody, Leon Thomas again. Boy, do I have a story to tell you today. This one is about Walgreens. Walgreens Pharmacy. Check it out. So, for the last at least seven years, I've gotten my prescriptions filled at the same Walgreens. A Walgreens in Lutherville, Maryland. Again, for the last seven years. So sometimes I, I go to the doctor and the doctor says, I'm going to send the prescription on into Walgreens. And so they do it electronically. Other times the doctors give me a physical paper prescription and I take it to that Walgreens and it gets filled. Of course, when I need prescription refills, many of them are done automatically through Walgreens or I'm able to use the, the Walgreens app with, without a problem. So, I go to a new doctor, I go to a new doctor, and that doctor says, I'm going to send the prescription over to your pharmacy, are you using the, the same Walgreens? And I said, yes. They said, I'm going to send it electronically. So, they send it electronically, and what typically happens after the prescription has been sent electronically, within a few hours or so, I get a notice, a text message, or an email from Walgreens saying your prescription is ready. So the following day, the day after the doctor sent the prescription, I had not received a text message or an email from Walgreens saying my prescription was ready. So I called the Walgreens. And when I dialed the Walgreens and pressing the buttons, you know, like you do every business you call, no one's answering the phone now in most businesses, right? It's press one for this, two for that, one for this, two for that, and so forth. After going through all that, I receive a message through the phone, message on the phone during that phone call that says, I'm sorry, this Walgreens is temporarily closed. Press two for more information. So... <laughs> I press two for more information and a real person answers the phone. They said they're not at the store, they're at a call center or something and that that store, the store that I typically go to in Lutherville, the Walgreens in Lutherville, had to shut down because of an emergency. So I asked that person what I should do to get my prescriptions. They said, call another Walgreens that other Walgreens would be able to pull the prescription and I can pick it up there. Okay, great. So I call another Walgreens. I call the Walgreens in Timonium, Maryland, only about 10 minutes away from Lutherville. I call that Walgreens and I explain that I want to get my prescription from store A and bring it over to store B so I can get on with life. That person asks for my phone number, my name, and so forth, and they say, we don't show any prescriptions for you. And I said, sure you do. I get my prescriptions at Walgreens all the time. There's nothing in your profile. We don't see any prescriptions in your profile. Like, okay, you're wrong. Your system's not right because I've been getting my prescriptions there at least the last five, six, seven years. And the person says, no, you haven't because we don't have anything on your profile. So... I say, look, I have a prescription, one of the ones that I take on a daily basis. Let me give you that prescription number and maybe you can track it that way. No, I don't need to do that. I'm not going to do that because you don't have anything on profile with us. And I said, look, I do have something on profile with you. And of course, it's, it's getting heated. And the person says to me, you are going to calm down. And if you don't calm down, I'm not going to talk to you. I said, listen, you can't tell me what to do. You can ask me to calm down, but you can't tell me to calm down. You don't tell people to do anything, particularly if they're not your child, <laughs> not your employee. You can't just tell me what to do. You can ask me to calm down. So he says, no, I'm telling you, you're going to calm down or else I'm not going to talk to you. I'll just hang up on you. And I said, look, I'm not calm. Click. I get hung up on. Okay, fine. So what did that do? That infuriated me more 
nothing solved. So I called back to that store, store B, store two, and I asked for the store manager. And I asked the store manager, at what point, which page in the training manual does it say hang up on a customer? He says, it doesn't, what happened? I explained it to him. He says, okay, let me see what we can do to get your prescription. And he comes back on the phone and says, we're gonna be able to get your prescription. It's supposed to be a seven day supply. We're only gonna be able to give you two days because the remainder of it is out of stock. But we will have it in tomorrow and we'll make sure that you get it. I said, oh, okay, great, this will work out fine. So I went to the store, got the prescription, the two day supply without incident. So the next day, I'm supposed to get the remaining balance of the prescription. I call the store and say, is the remaining balance of it ready? I call that Walgreens Pharmacy, number two, Walgreens B, the one in Timonium. And they say, it's not here. We're not gonna have it until four days later. And I said, well, I need it because I'm supposed to take this medicine for seven consecutive days. <laughs> and the guy said, I don't know what to tell you. We're not gonna have it until another four days. I said, well, is there something you can do to help me? What, what, what do I do? And he says, call another Walgreens. So now, this will be the third Walgreens. So I call Walgreens number three, the Walgreens in Towson, about 15 minutes away. I call there and I say, I wanna get a prescription that was originally at store A, but they closed. I wanna go now to get it at store B, but they say they're not gonna have it in stock until another four days. Can you help me? The person says, sure. What's your name? Give me your phone number. I give them my name, I give them my phone number. They say, I'm sorry, we don't show anything in your profile. There's no prescriptions here for you. Like, come on, yes there is. I, I get prescriptions there. I've been getting them there for six or seven years. I'm telling you, I get prescriptions there. I don't show any record of it. Well, I said, well, okay, well listen, forget all of that. How about the prescription that was at store number two that they need to give me the balance on can you give me the balance at your store? And they say, no, we can't do that. That's against our policies. I said, well, the person at the pharmacy at store number two told me to call you to get this accomplished. And they said, well, I don't know why they tell you to do that. <laughs> Duh, I don't know either, but that's what they told me. So I had to get the manager from that store, store number three on the phone to explain everything that's going on. Now, I call the 800, whatever the number is for Walgreens to give customer feedback, and I went online and all of that stuff. And I even went on, went on Twitter to, to say, hey, look, you guys, there's a problem here. No one's responded to me yet. No one's responded. What's going on? I mean, how, why can't we get this squared away? We're talking about a national company where they don't even have records of me having prescriptions, but I do. I mean, I have prescription bottles that say Walgreens on them with, uh, with, with, with prescription numbers on them. But no one's even willing, of all the phone calls when I offered to give the prescription number, no one said, yeah, give me the prescription number, let's look it up. So, Walgreens, what do you think? You wanna get in touch with me to figure out what's going on here where you guys clearly screwed up? Hey, Safeway, Giant, CVS, great opportunity here to capture a customer. What do you think? <laughs> I'm Leon, Leon Thomas, looking forward to hearing your thoughts about this video and the whole incident, but also more importantly, looking forward to hearing from Walgreens to hear their story on how and why they screwed this up, but more importantly, what are they gonna do to make sure this doesn't happen to another customer? I'm Leon Thomas. Go to my website. My website is leonthetrainer.net. leonthetrainer.net. Thanks for watching.